Good morning, everybody. Good morning to a kind of cloudy, breezy, cool air feeling day in the Philippines. At least this morning it is. It feels absolutely great. Well, we're going to continue on with our projects as always here today. Everything has to kind of work as what's most important for us at the moment to get to. That pipe has not been our priority. I know I left it hanging about what that blockage is but it has not been our number one priority. It just hasn't. I haven't been overly concerned about it because I have more than one way to run the sewage from that bathroom anyway because I put a little redundancy in when I built this place, like I've done in several places around the house. So we'll get all that a little bit later on. Right now the guys are pulling a form up here on a little wall they poured. I wanna get up here and see that. Oh, they already got it loose, so let's see. It looks great, though. Other than he used an old piece of plywood, and it had a, a hole in it. <laughs> but, man, it will uh, it'd be great. All that's getting stoned over anyway. It looks good. It's perfect, man. Perfecto. Perfecto mundo. Where you want to cut that at? Maybe you want to cut it here. Set it at an angle from right here to over there. Just move those. There's a power cord already here anyway. Go that way a little bit. Go that way some. Uh, yeah, that'll work. We're going to mark 45s on this where we need to cut it so my we're going to use the big grinder okay not the small one the big red one yeah and i need to get my speed square and we'll mark it we need to measure it so we're cutting the 45s here on the end of this i-beam the length and we're going to get it ready to set up there in place that was uh 234 
234. There you go, and cut that one through now. Oh, we need to do the other end. Yeah, I want some glasses on his eyes. Get a pail of water, clean this thing off, take the broom and water and clean it off. Let's make it clean before we put it up there. That's got both ends on it now. 45 off, we're gonna 45 these and weld them up on the corner. So I'm gonna put some little gussets in as well. So the drops off of this I'm gonna take and cut gussets out of and weld in there when we go welding it up. It's gonna make it nice and strong. Here, put it put it right there on this edge here lift up go over here on this okay right there now nah, just push down push, push just, just go down see so easy see now just swing it around <laughs> don't let it fall off Okay. Here, let me go by. Well, let me go by. Don't let it. Don't let it fall off on there. Slide it over. Shh, slide it over. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Right between the. Right between the steel up there. Nice. Nice. I think we gotta go back this way. No. Come on. No, no, no. I can't see. Keep coming. Come back more. Okay. Yeah, we may have to cut that one off back there. Thank you. 
Nice. Good job. Now, you got to bring one more piece of steel instead of another. We'll start cutting the 45s for down there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Y'all bring one more and lay it there the same like you did the last one. We'll cut the same again. We can go ahead and bring it here so you can cut it when you have the grinder out. So you can do it just the same. And then um, you're going to need to start building you uh, some bamboo scaffolding over there so you can put that. Yeah, we still got bamboo, right? Huh? If not, we can get some from some of these other places. If you got to take some from the top or anywhere. Check this out, man. Ambin put all of this stone. Now it's got um, a lot of like, mortar, you know, on it right now. Uh, just a little cloudiness that needs to be power washed off. But after it cures for a few days, I'll hit it lightly with a power washer. We will be coming back and sealing all this with the same sealer that I did the interior wall with. But man, I'm happy to see that right there. It's gonna be cool when we do all the cleanups and the finish finish on this, you know, the touch-ups. I do have some stone that I need to buy for here, but you see we got all this scrap tile and some of these little narrow pieces Joel's using up there on the house right now, uh, finishing out around the edge of the veranda. And those are getting used up right now. And that's what we're planning on doing. Some pieces over there right now too, he's gonna to use up there on the front of the bar top. And so instead of just move them, move them, move them, just go ahead and use them, get them out of the way, and then we can clean up what's left. And this here will be getting a stonework on it, but not like any of the stonework that's here currently right now, something totally different. Well, everybody, it's the end of a work day, and we got a little bit accomplished. So we got this other I-beam here cut also, like that first one, and... You know, my mock's so smart, man. He knows those ends are sharp and pointed. And he covered them up and put plywood so nobody would hook themselves on them. But they're cut and they're ready to go up. In this little small guest room, I was able to get the rest of the glass blocks. And you got those put in and filled in the rest of that part of the wall up there. And did a little touch up down here as well. On this wall, um, Actually, I can come in here in this room now. It's ready to set a toilet. I know it's kind of dark. Let's bring a little light in the subject. Um, I can set the toilet here now. I can cut that PPR and put the fittings and put the shower unit in. I've got it at my feet right back here behind me. And it's ready to put the sink in here. So the door is already hung for this too. We took it off right there to do some finish work on it. And while he was working up here above, I didn't want him dropping mortar and stuff and all down on an unfinished door but this restroom is really ready to wrap it on up and it be a functioning restroom so we'll probably put a little focus in on that to knock it on out then coming around front right here check this out let me get back where you can see it really good yep right here we are getting that stonework finally done up on the very front of the house here at the bottom uh, where a little port -a is right here. So that is really cool and Ammon is knocking it out quick, man. I mean, he is just on it and happy to see that going. And he finished the stonework up the side and that looks so good. We looked at that earlier, but I'm just happy to see it. And just know when I power wash that off and clean it really good and we put that sealer on there, it is going to look amazing. Marvin goes around and continues to prep and paint everything. Look how clean and nice he has all of this done and painted underneath here. Now we still have not painted the wall yet, but he has got that looking so good. And today he worked on painting around back down this side over here. Uh, moving right along with it and they are over here working 
on building this scaffolding up right here to be able to lift that I-beam all the way up here to the top. Um, so they'll probably get that set in the morning most likely and there'll be an I-beam going all the way across, all the way to over there, all the way over here and it'll cantilever over a little ways right over there. Hello, Miss Melly. Yes. Miss Mel, she's been out here doing a little karaoke time. Yeah. Uh, uh, none of the windows are broke. They all survive. Yeah, survive. <laughs> no, no gushing wind or whatever, no in the rain. So how you been doing lately, Mel? It's just well, you know, yeah. just gardening. Going bananas? Yes. We are going bananas around here, aren't we? <laughs> what do we have, like five bundles? Of those bananas growing here now? Isn't that right? I think that's right. Five of them. Four would be six of them. Yeah. Oh my goodness, man. We are. We're going bananas. Plus our neighbor over here has got some hanging right at our okay. fence too. We just need to cut them. <laughs> first thing first. Yeah, check it. It's good. Well, let me show you all what's going on right over here. So check this out. Uh, they've about got this tiled in already. You got to clean a little bit of the haze off the top of it and do some filler pieces in around but check it out man this is tile uh joel is now beginning to prepare to finish out the bar along the top right here and we are going to add a little piece in right here and fill this corner so he's going to make himself a little form chip this in here put a little steel and fix that in the morning to where it'll be tiled all the way and he's going to be putting the front piece on but this is all got the tile on it. Like I say, it's just got a haze from needing to be cleaned off good, but it's pretty amazing. Boy, that smells so it's good. good. And it is really thin, you know. Man, one. those are the ones Bill brought. It is, it is a big one. They are amazing. I like this one. The one that in Davo you pay like in the skin for kids, so we pay this one per kilo. Oh, wow. And they, only the, the inside is like this. I like this one, it's a big one. They're nice. I had planned to sit down with my buddy Bill today and we're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one chat with each other, a video about his life coming here right now, what his plans are, what he's thought of the Philippines so far coming in. But Bill's not feeling real good. He caught that old crud like a lot of people do when they first come, you know, and you get that cough and congestion and all. So he's trying to battle that a little bit right now and get over that. And so we'll give him a little bit of time to feel a little better. But he said he's all for doing this interview. You tell me if you want to hear from Bill and his first experiences in the Philippines here and uh, what his thoughts are on all of it. And comment down below. Tell me what you think about that. Hope Bill gets to feeling better soon. And we'll get on to the next one. Everybody take care. Thank you for watching. God bless.